Whoa, those blades are sharp. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider-Man. In case you didn't know, these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep them in prison. Get out of our way. This has not been done you. All right, guess we can skip the welcome wagon. Get down here and fire us. <laughs>
takes a million kids. <laughs> But I saved you. Really? <laughs> Can't be. No. This isn't real. We have eyes on Scorpion. A superhero. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up.
him grounded. I don't know who you are, but you met with the wrong city. You cannot escape! And you think I'm naive? Keep him on the floor!
First responders are on site now, at least. <laughs> Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck upriver? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. Pete. When I saw Lee inside that ship, my powers, they... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Well, wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. Don't leave me hanging. Trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man. guys. That was for you, Leg. Hey, do either one of you guys have a permit for those? Huh? Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. At least I can still wiggle my toes. There. Staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, 
Girl, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. Birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh man, I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Hey, Mars. I'm getting used to hearing that voice in the voice. Dropped you a pin. Want to come through? Hey, Blair. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Try to rebuild themselves without Finn, but I'll put it to better use. I'll make sure Pete knows about this. Rick, what do you want? Disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their penchant for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the way. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? 
No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors.